Hey Libra, what's going on? It's your girl D here with 8th House Energy here to do your Mercury Retrograde reading. Um, this is in the month of September here, so Mercury is in retrograde. It will be in retrograde on the 27th uh, in your first house. We are in a pre-shadow stages, so you're probably feeling these energies uh, now. You also have uh, Mars there in your first house as well, so we'll talk about that. Uh, and then we'll also talk about where Gemini is because Gemini is in the North Node for us globally. And then also uh, Lilith is in Gemini. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to pull one Oracle card to talk about uh, what energies you need to be aware of based on um, this Mercury Gemini energy. And um, what energies you may need to embody to uh, maneuver through this Mercury retrograde. So... Uh, Take what resonates, leave the rest, okay? If you need a personal reading, my information's in the box below. So let's just get your card out first. So, you know, of course, with Mercury uh, in your first house, Mercury is the communication center, okay? It's how you process things that, you know, happen to you, how you look at things, how you communicate verbally, as well as how you express yourself physically, all right? Um, and we also have Mars in your first house, uh, you know, fueling that energy, so Mars is the planet of, you know, uh, assertiveness, okay? It's the planet of, you know, what you do when a fire is lit underneath you. You know, uh, how you respond when your back is up against the wall. So when we're dealing with those energies, Mercury, uh, I'm sorry, Mars accelerates whatever is going on, okay? Whatever house it's in, it accelerates the energies, uh, makes it more assertive, more aggressive, okay? So with your first house, you know, the first house deals with your uh, personal appearance, it deals with your uh, physical appearance, okay? It deals with um, how others see you as well. So with Mercury in retrograde here, all right, so the card we have is uh, the abundant universe will provide. You guys have been, you guys got a lot of good um, energy coming towards you, okay? Um, in the last couple of readings that I did, if you didn't check them out, check them out, okay? Because you guys got good energy coming towards you, those who are doing positive things okay you got you know negative uh energies in both in all signs so you got some libras out here who are doing not so good putting out negative energy and you got the ones who uh who've been victimized by negative energy of others the ones who've been victimized you you're you're gonna be all right the universe is gonna bless you all right i've been getting that strongly for the last three readings i've been doing for libras so make sure you check those out go to the libra 2021 playlist and look for the last couple of readings i did for libra and you'll see that especially the last two um so your first house you got libra uh mercury there in retrograde so what's basically going on with all of us because mercury's in retrograde in the house of libra libra's the house of justice so, um, you know, we're dealing with regular 3D justice. So some of you may be going to court or in the court system or dealing with something with a, a court situation, whether it's a personal situation between you and a lover or you and a friend. It could be business where, you you know, maybe it's colleagues or your organization. Um, it could be, you know, a lover where maybe it's about, uh, you know, separation or divorce or maybe some of you are getting married. OK, because some of you got good karma. So some of you could be getting married. Um Others of you, it could be about paternity tests, child support, alimony. It could be anything because, you know, Libra deals with justice. Also, if you know, a lot of us are dealing with things on the 3D realm in the legal system. The universe is also judging us on the uh, universal realm. So all of our actions, because, you know, Libra is the hand that deals justice. So that's we're talking about karma. OK, so uh, a lot of people are going to be all of us are getting judged right now. With Mercury and Libra, what Mercury's doing is it's looking through your past actions as far as what justices uh, were done, you know, what justice you deserve, what things were done to you, and what you've done to others. So you're being evaluated right now with Mercury in retrograde here in, in the House of Justice. We all are. And so after that, you know, the universe will sum up what is supposed to be uh, given out, okay, whether it's good uh, vibes or bad. But Libras who've been victim victimized or been you know under the influence of negative energies people trying to you know put their negative energies on you and taking from you you got good stuff coming because it says the abundant universe will provide so that is like the dopest card one of the dopest cards to get so the universe got your back baby i told you that in the last reading too so let's see what energies you would need to um uh embody in order to get through this mercury retrograde okay I like this energy for you. I really do. You know, the universe is going to be blessing you guys. You guys got good energy. 
for the last two or three months. Good energy. Oh, you're ruling planet. Venus got your back, baby. So for some of you, you're going to meet because you guys are a sign about relationships anyway. You know, Libra deals with partnerships of all kinds. So for some of you, you're going to have a, a love come to you. So like I said, for some of you, maybe you're getting married or you're going to meet somebody you will eventually marry uh, because some of you have been in some really rough, messed up situations, you know, as far as love. So the universe is taking tally. Like I said, everybody's getting, you know, their, their file is getting pulled. Everybody's file is getting pulled. The universe is looking through it on a spiritual realm to see who's going to get what type of karma. So this is the energy we're in right now. So if you're in karmic relationships that you should not be in and you know this person is a karmic to you and you still sticking around, I don't know what to tell you. What what This is what I'll tell you. You better run. Because if this person has been doing you dirty and you're still dealing with them, because the universe is going through everybody's file to see what kind of karma is going to be dished out, you know when you continue to deal with people who are not good to you, what's going to happen is not only are you getting the negative karma from them dealing with you, you're going to get the negative karma of these people because you still have them in your energy. So, for example, if you're living with a partner who's been cheating on you, doing you dirty, doing you wrong, and you know they have, and you just haven't left because, you know, maybe the money is good. You know, this person takes care of you. But yet they do you dirty. They compromise your self-esteem and your self-respect dealing with this person. If you have not left this person, what's going to happen is the universe is going to dig this person their karma, and then you're going to get that karma too. So, for example, what may happen is, you may end up getting pregnant by this person and now you can't leave them. And then they're just going to continue to do you dirty and cheat and, you know, all that kind of stuff. Or you could be somebody who, um, well, I won't get into that, you know, because it's, it's, it's too much. But that's just an example of how other people's karma can affect you when you know you shouldn't be with them anymore. You know, and maybe this person loses their money and then you get pregnant by this person or you get this person pregnant. Now, not only are you not getting those financial uh, luxuries you were getting before, now... You got a child with this person, so now you're going to struggle. That could be the karma. So you really need to be careful with these karmic relationships when you know you shouldn't be in them anymore, but you don't want to leave because it's financially stable or what have you. But um, that's for some of you. Also, what you need to take into consideration is right now we have the North Node in Gemini, and we also have Lilith in Gemini. Gemini is in your ninth, so all that's going on in your ninth house. The ninth house deals with the higher mind, the wisdom. Being wise, learning from your mistakes, uh, listening to your intuition, okay? So for some of you, if you know you shouldn't be in a situation, you need to leave it, okay? Use your wisdom. Be wise. Don't think in your earthly, you know, because Venus sometimes can put you in a situation where you're thinking with your lower level energies. You know, you're indulging, all right? You're thinking about your desires and what you want, and that will keep you in a relationship that you should not be in, all right? So... For the most part, you guys got good things coming towards you, especially the ones who were doing good and may and, and decided to leave a relationship that was no good for them, whether it was a work relationship that was karmic, whether it was a familial relationship or family-oriented relationship that was karmic, whether it was a lover that you were dealing with that was karmic. Uh, if you left those situations behind, uh, the universe is going to bless you. So, uh, you know, reap the rewards and the benefits and, and uh, good luck to you with that, all right? So uh, Mercury Retrograde begins hardcore on the 27th, and we'll be in these energies until Halloween, okay? So just keep that in mind, of course, with the typical traditional retrograde energies. Don't take anybody back from the past that you've cut off and, and it didn't work. It's not going to work, you know? They're just going to come back around because that's how Mercury makes things happen. It, it brings these people back in because you're being tested as well. Karma, remember. Your house deals with karma. So a lot of you are going to be tested. We're all going to be tested in some way, shape, or form. But this is where it's going to show up for you. The way people treat you and how they see you. All right? So if they don't see you as someone who's wise and they can come back and play games with you, begin because keep in mind, again, we're dealing with uh, Gemini energy of the North Node and Lilith in Gemini, which is in your ninth house, the house of wisdom. Okay? The house of your mindset, your, your philosophy, your views on things. Some of you may have had to change your views on things in order to move out of karmic relationships. So you will be tested as well. But I want you to get your abundance because the universe, you know, Venus deal with money. Okay? Love and money. And the abundant universe will provide. Some of y'all got some money coming. Okay? You got, the universe is going to bless you. I love this energy. So yeah, I want to keep this short and brief, but that's what I got for you for your Mercury Retrograde read. If you need a personal, my information is in the box below. I'll see you in the next reading, Libra.